Hey folks, I feel like talking about the mini bike because this is the only mini bike that I have now. There's some other dude that's supposedly coming over today to buy the bigger mini bike. I don't know if he's gonna flake or not, but supposedly he said he's gonna swoop by and take a look at the bike and see if he wants to buy it or not. People flake out all the time, so I'm just telling you basically what's happening. See, he'll either show up or he won't. I don't really give a shit. So this is my this is my only mini bike right now. And I wanted to do a little aftermath video of the Arizona mini bike hood ride. Because we went on the hood ride. Or bay, I don't know why they call it the hood ride. I'm guessing it's because we go we all meet up downtown and we drive on the street. We're just going through the hood, I guess you could say. It's it wasn't even really a ghetto area, but whatever. They call it the hood ride. It's it's a yearly thing that we do. We've been doing it for like they've been doing it for like the past four years or so. And I believe this was the fifth annual mini bike ride. We always do it at the beginning of the new year, like around probably mid to late January. Usually like two to 300 people show up and every year it's apparently gotten bigger, like more and more people are showing up. This year has definitely been the biggest mini bike hood ride yet. I'm hoping that next year will be even bigger because I think we, I think there was like 251 people Someone counted, I think they said it was like 251 people showed up. So I'm hoping next year we could possibly reach 300 people. That would be insane. I wanted to show the mini bike, do an aftermath video because there was a lot of abuse, a lot of riding on the road, a lot of full throttle, pushing this thing to its limit. So, and it held up pretty well. I saw a bunch of people break down on the road but my bike was perfectly fine. I made sure that everything was ready to go. It was ready to take a pounding. You know, I made sure everything was tight, lubed up, especially the chain of all things. I have the most problems with the damn chain, so that's what I was focus focusing on the most. I put a brand new chain on it before the ride, put a new custom tensioner, had a drill hole in the frame so the tensioner will line up and fit right with the chain. That was a big thing. And everything was fine. Nothing broke, nothing wore out, nothing fell off. Chain didn't fall off, <laughs> surprisingly. But that's because I put a tensioner on it. Because before, the chain kept falling off after a while. Because obviously there's no tensioner on it. So, I put the tensioner on it and it really does help keep the chain on better. Like, it's just some cheap plastic roller but it definitely works whenever this plastic roller wears out I'll probably just slap another one on there because these this plastic one is kind of crappy it's I'm not expecting it to last long it's probably gonna crack and wear out and then tires are still brand new the little little furry knob things or whatever you want to call these they almost wore out. They're still on the front of the tire though. These little whisker things haven't fully rubbed off yet. So yeah, tires are still practically new. The only thing that's wearing, that feels like it's wearing out is the seat. I always sit in the middle the most and you put your, you can feel that it's flattening right here in the middle where I'm sitting the most. Like, the rest of the seat is still perfectly cushioned in the back, in the front, but when you start feeling the middle, you can feel that it's starting to go flat, and it's just getting worn in the middle. It's still comfortable. Still feels fine, but at the same time, I can sort of feel when you sit right here that it's kind of feels like it's caving in a little bit in the middle just because yeah all I can really do with that is scooch upward a little bit big whoop or maybe scoot back yeah Pepsi ball shockingly stayed on too this didn't rip off 
I always keep that on there because it's a nice little ornament. <coughs> the brake still works for the time being. Surprisingly, I haven't worn out the brake pads because every time I ride around with this thing, like, I know that I'm putting a shitload of wear on the brake pads because the stock brakes on this bike suck. I still really want to put that custom brake on. It'd be a lot better. But I haven't gotten around to it. I'll probably do that. Probably do that sometime after my doctor visit because that's just give me constant anxiety. I'm just freaking out over it. I want to get it over with already. I'm not looking forward to it at all. I just want. I wish it was over already. <laughs> yeah, a lot of open space right here. <laughs> kind of dirty right there on the H of H O H V plate whatever I'm not even paying attention probably want to I want to give this thing a little bit of a tune-up probably in the next week or so clean out the spark plug uh, clean the air filter some other garbage Let's do a quick little 10 minute tune-up Yeah. So other than replacing this brake, only other thing that I kind of wanted to do eventually is get new forks that have a suspension on it because th this thing gets really bumpy, especially when, you know, I'm, I'm going 40 miles an hour on this thing. And a lot of the times it's just really bumpy. It would be nice to get new, get custom forks that have a suspension on it. Cause I know one of the people from the group that I go on rides with, he has the same bike as mine, but he has custom forks that have the suspension on it. And obviously I've ridden that bike before and it feels a lot, it just feels a lot less brutal. Like the rear, not much you can do about the rear putting suspension on that because if you, people have put rear suspensions on these bikes before but then it just involves a lot of custom fr you know cutting and welding the frame and all that crap it's just too much if i get custom forks here all i gotta do is take these forks off and then just put the new forks on and then put the wheel back on it's really not a big deal it's like 10 minutes don't have to you know cut or weld anything other than that, it's been the mini bike update. So there's more work to be done on this thing. There's always this is always going to be a constant project, but there's only two main things I want to do on it right now. Obviously the brake, and then eventually the front forks, which those are kind of expensive. They're like sixty, seventy dollars, and I just don't feel like spending that right now. So yeah, stay tuned for more bike update videos and bike riding videos. See you, folks.